We are <laughs> all in on reading the billboard for Build America Mutual. And we're down there at their headquarters. We're with the, the CEO. Uh, we CEO. got Sean McCarthy here, the CEO. Of Sean, and yep. uh, Sean, before we get into it, I just want to tell you a little story about Paul, my co-host here. Okay. So he started in uh, financial services on Wall Street like the day after Black Friday in 1987. Yeah, right? great timing. And... He's of the generation that wanted, you know, big paychecks and worked, uh, you know, wake until sleep to get them. Um, no other life besides Wall Street and earning money. I asked him what he did with his first bonus because I figure most people, like, take their first bonus and go buy a Rolex or something. He bought munis. Oh, yes. smart. Yes. Very smart. Exactly. <laughs> Clipping coupons is what he does on the weekends. He just sits <laughs> by the pool and clips his coupons. Yeah, and it's been, it's been a good ride. Build America Mutual, Sean. Uh, th thanks so much for having us down here sure. at your lovely offices down here in Tour de Liberty Street. What do you guys do at Build America Mutual? So uh, we are um, uh, municipal bond insurer. We're double A rated by Standard and Poor's, and we guarantee. So you insure municipal bond issuers. We do. Gotcha. Think, think okay. of it this way: it's a little like uh, if you have a child who's gone to college, takes out a student loan. You want him to get a job. You want him to pay it back. But if he doesn't, you're on the hook because you've co-signed the loan. Yeah, I think I'm That's familiar with that. That's what we do. Okay. What we're, what we're doing is we're guaranteeing to make sure that timely payment of principal and interest when due for the investors. Well, I know where my guys sleep at night, so if they don't pay, I know where to find them. <laughs> Talk to us about the municipal bond market. Um, just today, it's been such a rough year for fixed income. Double-digit declines across the entire fixed income space. Talk to us about the municipal bond market. So I think right now, you know, it's a tale of uh, two markets uh, this year. Uh, there was a hundred... Um, uh, billion dollars of outflows from the municipal market in the first part of the year. And that's really a transition from very low interest rates of last year and the beginning of this year to higher interest rates now. And so what we're seeing uh, at this moment is a re-entry of municipal investors back into the market. Now I have to think, what does the municipal market do? It finances 80% of essential infrastructure. So when you think about infrastructure, it's state and local governments that are financing that. There are right now $4 trillion of municipal bonds that are outstanding. And, and, and of that, if you just try to put a sense for who, um, who, buy, who are the issuers, they are state and local governments. Uh, there are 50,000 individual issuers, mm, yep. state and local governments, which means that there are you know, about five times the total number of different issuers than there are on the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ put together. So it's a huge market, but it's also one that is traditionally very staid, right? Um, towns and cities are going to always have financing needs. They constantly need to issue debt, um, and they rarely default. And then when you step in and insure their bonds, investors can be sure they're not going to default, or if they do, uh, you know, you'll catch them fall. So um, That's 100% right. I mean, really what we're focused on is uh, two things. Essential public purpose is uh, state and local governments issuing for hospitals, bridges, tunnels, roads, um, and, and that, they, they, they don't default often, but what we're doing is three things. Credit default protection, greater liquidity for those municipal bonds, and greater price protection, so those bonds trade at a more stable level. But uh, what I'm getting time. at, though, is there's typically not so much volatility. This has been a very odd year for munis, right? That's correct. It has been for the whole market, correct. but traditionally munis trade a little bit differently than definitely corporate debt and even treasuries. That's correct. Uh, and that's really because if you think about it, who are the buyers of municipal bonds? It's households. It's mutual funds that represent households. So it's people who are buying uh, bonds that have a long uh, uh, m maturity. And so they're doing that for their portfolios for greater stability and, and less volatility than other potential investments like equities. So during this pandemic, we've seen uh, coming out of Washington a big infrastructure bill. And I'm guessing a lot of that's got to be financed in the municipal bond market. Have you started to see activity tied with that at all, or is that something still to come? So I think uh, they've passed a $1.1 uh, $1 trillion uh, uh, package, yep. uh, the bipartisan bill. And I think what's going to happen in the municipal bond market is uh, a lot of those programs are match funded. So if you think about if you're going to borrow to to repair your roads, mm -hmm. and it's repair just as much as build new things, yep. if you think about right. really yeah. what's going Hopefully. on. Um, I'm not sure so about New York City. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have a, it's an opportunity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you think about uh, how much uh, uh, gets to be invested, um, the federal program is a matched fund program so that if you want to borrow $50 million from that program, you're going to issue $50 million worth of municipal bonds in order to make that project a reality. 
And so uh, right now, that money has been approved. And it's now just starting to roll out into the market. And so my, uh, our estimation would be that that, that that activity will really take hold in the next couple of years. But this means, that, so I have always thought, or, or this year, you know, now that these municipalities are so cash rich, maybe they don't need to issue as many bonds. But you're saying that a lot of that money came with issuance uh, concurrent. So uh, think about it this way. Uh, what's happened this year, particularly for, for volume, is uh, uh, it's about $360 uh, billion dollar, uh, uh, volume of issuance this year. Um, there are virtually no refinancings. So normally about 20, 25% of the market are refinancings. As interest rates have gone up, refinancings have gone down. But the important thing to remember is that uh, essential projects still have to be built. Uh, existing uh, facilities have to be repaired. And so the market has a steady issuance mm. uh, going forward, and we project that that's going to be the same for the next you know, five, ten years. In terms of what as a done. former banker, I've always told companies, you know, borrow when you can, raise capital when you can and not when you need it. But it's not necessarily the case in municipal bond space. They're, they don't market time, it's, uh, is my understanding. They raise money when they need it. Correct. You know, so as you look at can you do you have municipalities saying, I'm going to issue in 2023 for a bridge that we're building? Did they, did they give you that kind of visibility, or is it? There's a long-term process in order to come to the market for, for, new, for large new projects. So if you think about uh, any town, a town in Connecticut, a town in Nevada, when they uh, decide they're going to build a new town hall or they're going to put in new sidewalks, they go through a planning process, they go through an approval process. Remember, these things are paid from s taxes at a local level. So they go through an approval process, they design what they're going to build, and then they issue the bonds. In most circumstances, municipalities have a financial advisor mm -hmm. that represents yep. them in putting the transaction together, and then they hire an, a, an underwriter, um, you know, like Citibank or, right. or uh, Bank of America, to uh, you know bring those bonds to market and sell them to investors. So, if you're insuring uh, an issue, do you guys have to perform credit analysis yourself to decide? how much you'll charge for that uh, Absolutely. insurance. So you so have the, a bunch the, of credit analysts around The vast here? majority of the people you see here okay. are, are credit analysts. Okay. And so we spend all of our time, uh, our credit committee meets every year, uh, uh, every day. Nine o'clock. I think I, I saw you guys, exactly. folks get up and Huddle, head out. Yep. Yeah, and think about what's happening. And so what we're doing is um, making a credit decision to guarantee the bond. Now think about it this way. Our kind of insurance is unique because we don't, you know, there is no waiver we pay first and then mitigate later so that the investor knows they're going to get their payment when, when they expect it to get it. And that's fundamentally important to what we do. So our process of not only underwriting the transactions when they come to market, but surveilling them uh, is an important part. So we, we watch those uh, municipal bond issues um, until they mature. And that's something that the investors can take comfort in, and frankly, the issuers take comfort in. Historically, how have you guys done in terms of losses or just risk from these Good things? Good question. So we've been in business 11 years. Okay. Uh, I've been in, in, in the bond insurance business for a very, very long time. We have issued um, $115 billion worth of transactions. We've had no defaults. Wow. I'll take that. So that's some good credit analysts around here. I'm surrounded by these sharp credit a analyst guys. Good stuff. All right, Sean, thanks so much for having us here. Sean McCarthy, he's Build American Mutual. He's a chief executive officer. We never uh, got to ask about work from home. We got to talk to him during the break because I got to know if all these guys came in today just because we're here. Just to see us. So, uh, two, three days a week, everybody's in the office. That's kind of where we're at. We, that's we where rotated we're. it around, and that's the thing. And the one final thing I just mentioned is that we're a mutual. So the people who are our stakeholders and own the company are the 5,000 municipalities that have taken our insurance. Okay. That's important. That's, That's key. important. All right, good stuff. All right, all right Sean McCarthy, great stuff. Uh, Build American Mutual uh, Chief Executive Bam. Officer. Bam. There you go. Thanks for being here.